Welcome to the Texas Truck Channel. I'm Brian, and right behind me we have the 2022 Toyota Tundra. That's right, the new one. And this is the limited Crew Max short bed, four wheel drive with a TRD off road package. That's the all important part. And we're going to go over some features in this review, and we'll cover the driving in our full test coming about a week after this airs. So, starting out, you've got the elbow bump. I don't know if that's a COVID feature or what, but the feature of that is to allow you to drop the gate if you have things in your hand. I've tried this. It's fine, it's also not that necessary. Um, the other problem is, if you have the truck locked and you walk outside, it doesn't work. So you have to unlock it, which takes a hand, and so, good idea, not the best execution. Now, you do have a step to get up, that's optional, this is a $399 option for this truck. And on the higher levels, the 794s and the capstones and the bottoms, that can be optioned as a power feature. So when you bump this elbow, gate drops, step pops out, that's pretty cool. Now, let's come check the bed out. This is a first for Toyota in the Tundra. Not in the Tacoma, but in the Tundra. Hear that? Composite, everything. Sides, all that stuff. And what that means is rust will never happen on this bed. That's the driving force behind it. Also, there's some weight reduction to be had. Now, we've heard some people complain about, well, in theory, plastic can warp. Fair point, but we don't see any Tacomas doing that, so we're not worried about that here. Now, closing the tailgate. Down here, I want to show two buttons. There's one button for the tailgate itself, okay? And there's one little one to the right that will lock the truck. So if the key fob's in your pocket, it will recognize that and lock the truck. Next, the bumper. This is actually a big deal to Toyota and we're gonna to explain it. What do you see here? Chrome in the middle, and right here you have an integrated side skirt on the edge. And that means that it's more aerodynamic. It slips better. By the way, I apologize for the wind in advance. Gusty day, we'll do our best to, to mitigate that. But you don't have the chrome wrapping around the edge. That is its own separate piece, and it actually does not scoop air as it's going. That's pretty cool. One more feature I want to point out, and this is, this is real. This piece right here is separate from the other side. And the reason for that is because in the previous generation Tundra, people backed into a lot of stuff. That's, just, that's really why. So halfway through the mid-cycle uh, mid refresh on the previous gen Tundra, they separated the metal pieces as two separate sides. They could replace one side and not both. They've kept that going here. Also, the good news to prevent that is the camera system is killer on this, and we'll show you that here in just a second. I don't think anyone's gonna hit anything with that. So let's come around. Cool looking tail lights. They are a three bar vertical design, and they do sequential when you unlock them. Not when you're driving, but when you're unlocking and hit the buttons. We've got the all important sticker. That's good for what? I don't know. Might as well be a two inch lift for that thing. Now, TRD Pro Package gives you the 20 inch wheels and the Falcon Wild Peak ATW3, AT3WA tires. And you also have a five link cool suspension here and built-in shocks, which we are gonna cover in our full review. Stay tuned, we'll get wheels off and technical of that. Coming around to the side, one of my favorite features, there's no side step, but there is a rock rail and this thing works really great. Kids don't like it so much because they try to step on it and it doesn't really help them. But when you're gonna go off road with this thing, you're covered. I love that. Let's check out the back seat. All right, coming in here, you have typical Toyota. You've got a cup holder everywhere. You've got pockets there, you've got the handle here. Plenty of ergo that really works in this truck. We like that a lot. Something that is a little bit controversial is that the underseat storage while it's deep and cavernous and it keeps everything behind this wall so it won't slide out while you're driving it also means that when you have the seat down and you have a car seat there you can't access whatever's stored there so if you have little kids keep that in mind um, a lot of brands just have it open you can slide something in and out there now the back does come down flips forward there's a jbl subwoofer back here which is awesome the stereo in this thing is awesome and then good storage behind the seat a lot of brands aren't as good at this so that's really cool to have and the rear window of course in tundra fashion comes all the way down every truck should do that i'm sorry ram ford gm just copy them just do this it's better we love that all right let's go back up front you've got center console with ac vents and charging kind of normal stuff all right let's come to the front seat first thing you'll notice are these seats I love these things. They're black, but they also have, through the perforated holes, cream colored fabric. So you see it coming through. So it's not just a flat black seat. I like that a lot. You also, at the TRD package, get the red start button, which means everything. Makes it super cool. I actually like that a lot. Trailer brake controller below that. And this massive, massive touchscreen. I'm gonna start this thing up so you can see it. And they see off. 
We do have tangible buttons for everything that you want to get to quickly. It's not buried in some sub menu. I really love that a lot. Toggles around, duals on climate control, heated and ventilated seats. We love our crotch chillers. That's the most important thing in a Texas truck. You also have the camera system. Let's hit that up. Look at this thing. 360 with some make-believe wheels, but guess what? That truck is red. It matches the color of this truck. We like that a lot. So that's the camera right there. Put it in reverse. You have the whole system right here. You can do a front view. You can do wheel view. We've got the door open right now so you can't see it. You can look back. You can also do the bed view. And while you're driving on the highway and you hit the camera button, that's what pops up. And it's nice to see if something's shifted while you're driving. You also have your off-road views. And this gives you your inclinometer and your wheel views directly. Pretty cool. Happy with that. Infotainment, crisp and clear. It's based on Google and everything works. Wireless CarPlay, flawless, and the screen's so big, it's just easy to see everything. We like that a lot. Toyota's function also is quite flawless. I've actually used it for the navigation because you can simply say, hey Toyota. How can I help you? So this is a great feature to use. You can also not use your phone and hit buttons. You can just say, hey Toyota, we like that a lot. Center console. There is a cubby for everything. There's a cubby for everything you didn't think you had to store. It's here. You've got multi-height cup holders. You've got a phone holder here that when you slide back and then open the lid, it doesn't fly out. You've got room for more phones. You've also got this slot right there, which Toyota tells us is designed to hold a big gulp from 7-Eleven. If that's not American, I don't know what is. Let's go look under the hood. Before we pop that hood, let's check out the front. Look at this snout. Craig says it's a Fu Manchu. I kind of see it. One of the pluses of this thing is it's very aerodynamic. One of the minuses is there's no rough and tumble lip down there. So when you go off road and you scratch something, it's the actual painted surface. I'm worried about that's longevity. Also, there's no tow hooks. That's gonna be concerning. Let's check it under the hood, see what we got. That's right, twin turbo, baby. There's no 5.7 here anymore. It's a dual overhead cam, 3.4 and a half liter V6 with two turbos and two waste gates that do work despite what the internet tells you. And I like about this is there's twin air boxes. Now this one's interesting because it has the optional lifetime air filters that can be reused. They're kind of like a K&M, but they're from Toyota. One on each side. Very JDM to have them separate. Ford on their turbo has one air box split out to two. Very happy with that. All right, all that covered, all this goodness. We're gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. And again, stay tuned. We have a full technical review with road tests. There are 60 times, wheel off and the hill test. Stay tuned for that coming soon. Take care.